Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. This is Ahmed Fakhr and this tutorial about installing React Native the new way. First step is to use Chocolaty. Chocolaty is a popular package manager for Windows. We use Chocolaty to install Node.js Python 2 and GDK go to chocolatey and press install chocolatey now to install chocolatey you should have these requirements which is Windows 7 or above Windows Server 2003 or above the partial version 2 or above dotnet framework 4 or above copy this command text go to command prompt but you should open with run as administrator paste press enter it will start for downloading wait a moment and it's okay download completed then to check if the chocolatey installed successfully write choco and press enter okay if you see chocolatey version this meaning the chocolatey installed successfully go back to react native copy this line which to use chocolatey to install node.js python 2 jdk 8 copy paste here and it will start installing right now it may take some times depending on your internet speed so download is completed for python 2 and for node.js and let's go to the next step which is installing react native CLI copy the command paste here and wait a moment the react native CLI is updated because I'm installing it before but a side note if you're getting an error like cannot find module npm log try installing npm directly with this code the next step is downloading and installing Android Studio by going to this link and download Android Studio I am already installing Android Studio in my computer so I will open it and it is opened but if you already install the Android Studio you should use a custom setup and on the prompt selected installation type make sure to select this checkboxes Android SDK Android SDK platform performance Intel HAXM Android virtual device and press next to install all these components then the next step is to showing the welcome screen and installing the Android SDK also if you like me with already installed Android Studio you should choose the Android 9 SDK go to SDK manager and you should choose Android 9 the next step is 
to press show package details and if you go here you should choose Android SDK platform 28 then you should choose Intel x86 Atom 64 system image or Google API's Intel x86 Atom system image one of these choice the next step is choosing SDK tools and show the package details SDK tools show package details and then we should choose this version 28.0.3 then apply ok and wait moments until downloading this available SDKs accept next after completed the downloading press finish then the next step is to configure the Android home environment variable go to the desktop my computer right click properties advanced system settings environment variables and then Android home under user variables if you press edit you should go to C users Fakhr App Data Local Android SDK the Fakhr is the computer name for me it should be your computer username if you don't have you press new here you put Android home and put this pause as you see here see users your username app data local Android SDK the next step is to add this pause under environment variable this put this path under path variable this is the path variable press edit and if you have multiple variables you should add it after putting semicolon like this after the end put semicolon and copy paste here and don't forget to change the username here for the pause replace your username with the real username in my situation it is Fakhr press ok ok and we have done now it is the time to create a new application copy and let's specify the directory to install my first application into C partition projects directory press enter And 
here you go the installation completed congratulations the next step is to install a new android virtual device from android virtual device manager if you want to go from the first step press here avd manager create virtual device choose the appropriate device i will choose nexus 5x next and i will choose under x86 this version version 9 which we installed before if you remember then next i will make it under fakhr name finish when you press on this icon you will launch the emulator wait a moment then to run the android under windows which is the available option you use react native run android but first you should go under c project awesome project which is the path directory for our project are you remember here is our path under c go to projects awesome project cd then go to the project path and react native space and run dash android press enter open the emulator it will automatically open the node to complete the installation another note if you see an error like that if you read make sure you have android emulator running on or a device or a device connected and have set up your android development environment all you need to skip this error is to run react native run android again and press enter and make sure that you open the emulator and it will respond with you now the time to run the application from the index.js and welcome to react native thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial on how to install and use react navigation version 3 don't forget to subscribe to get the latest tutorials and if you have any question leave a comment and i will respond as soon as possible bye